In this video, I'm going to show you how to make YouTube thumbnails using Google Slides. Let's jump right in. So by now you guys have seen several of my videos on using Google Slides. I use the same techniques and ideas and principles, the same tools that are available in Google Slides to create my YouTube thumbnails. It's object-based layout. I can import images. I can use word art or text boxes, change my backgrounds, and even have master slides that hold backgrounds and elements that I want to reuse on several different slides. The best advice that I can give you for creating your YouTube thumbnails is to design a system for yourself, not just a single thumbnail, but a system. And Google Slides is something that helps me do that very well. So I have a document that I just called thumbnails that sits in my YouTube folder right here in Google Drive. And basically, I have several different thumbnails that I've created that I can continue reusing over and over again. So I've created a system for myself, basically a set of templates that I can pull from. And I'm going to do that for you right now and show you how I create a new one for this video. You can see here I have my Dive into Drive thumbnail that I reuse, and I can just double click to change text. I've got a few different variations here just so that my thumbnails don't become static or end up all looking the same. They all follow a particular design aesthetic and visual system. Flowing from left to right, I put my text on the left, images on the right. That's just the way that we read in English and that's the language that I do my videos in. So I use that system that's already developed our alphabet, our, our language, the way that we read things and establish hierarchy, top to bottom, left to right. That's how I've chosen to design my thumbnails. You can see I break that paradigm every once in a while for like my Autodesk graphic videos, essentially presenting the logo and icon on the left and from left to right. You see what the video is about and then find out more about it left to right. I'll often do that if I'm doing series of things, much like the Google Drive. But for most of my videos, I follow this rule of thumb. I find that it has really helped my engagement on YouTube just in the last few months. So I'd encourage you to design your own system that works for you. So here's how I go about designing new thumbnails now. Now that I have this system in place, I can open up my document that holds all of my different templates, right click on the slide that I want to duplicate, and choose duplicate slide. That's going to duplicate that slide and all the content on that slide. But now I want to make some changes. I have some stuff copied on my clipboard. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to get rid of all of the images here and I'm going to change my background, make it black. I'm going to leave in this white shape here. This is just one of the built in shapes. It's this one right here, the parallelogram. So I use that on the side to give myself this nice angle that repeats over several of my thumbnails. I also have one of my custom assets in here, which is this, which is just a transparent PNG that I use as kind of a base shadow. And you can see that I, I reuse that here. Then in my master slides, I have this semi-transparent background that I use, as you can see, on all of my slides. So I have something, even if the layout changes, I have something that is similar and repeated on every thumbnail that I put on YouTube. So I've already created my text and my images that I want to use, and I'm just going to simply paste them into this new slide. I know that's kind of cheating. It's kind of pre-baking the cake and then showing you the end results. But basically, the way that I go about designing my thumbnails for YouTube now is about that simple. I can grab a slide that I've already created. This is all word art. I can double click and make changes. These are images that I've just dragged and dropped right into Google Slides from other documents. You can see this magenta one is from a previous video here, previous video thumbnail here and here as well. And I've just exported those as images and brought them into use for this YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to go to grid view just so you can see how this particular document really assists me. It even gives me a way of kind of seeing what these thumbnails are going to look like on my YouTube channel without even having to go to YouTube. I love that grid view so that I can see, hmm, okay, I need some of this color. I need some of these types of thumbnails for my overall channel. Or maybe I can start to see that I've had maybe too many repetitive ones in a row. So I like to break it up every once in a while. 
So I'll change it up with some light backgrounds, some dark backgrounds. But reusing this general theme, I have my own brand colors that, I, as you can see, are repeated throughout most of these slides, as well as some subtle repetitive motifs or aesthetics with my backgrounds, etc., that help my YouTube channel look unified. And that's what I would suggest you do as well. Once I'm happy with my layout, I can go to Download As, and I choose PNG just for the best quality. And of course, I'll use that image to upload as my thumbnail when I go to publish my video to YouTube. So I hope that helped you guys in some way. Whether you use Google Slides or Photoshop or any other program to create your YouTube thumbnails, I highly recommend creating a system for yourself. Some way of being able to execute quickly so that you can create your thumbnails and it not be this huge task every single time to reinvent the wheel. And also so that your thumbnails on your YouTube page have some kind of consistent visual anchor that helps your viewers know that these belong to the same brand or the same channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and like this video. And if you want to know more about how I create YouTube thumbnails or use Google Slides to create all kinds of things, leave me a comment below. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.